Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review and demo of the latest release from Makeup Forever, and it is the Water Blend Foundation. I have it here. I am finally ready to give this review. I've had it for a little while, and just for reference, I have it in the color Y455, which I believe is listed as Praline on the website. We are gonna get started on this demo <laughs> for the latest release from Makeup Forever. It is the Makeup Forever Water Blend Foundation. This is it here. Gonna give it a good shake because it is mostly water, so you wanna make sure that you shake it up good. Um, I've been playing with this foundation for a little bit now, and I really, really do enjoy it, but I think I've decided that the best application for me is with a brush. So we're going to use the Morphe E6 Flat Kabuki Brush. There we go, for application. So I'm gonna start with just two pumps on the brush, just a like so, and then we'll go ahead and work it on in. So I'm just gonna dot a little bit all over and then we will start when you first apply this foundation it definitely feels wet that could be due to the 80% water content that is in the foundation itself. All right, I'm gonna go in with just a little bit more to cover some spots that I don't think I got good. So like right in there. So that is one full layer of the foundation and you can honestly just go like this. Now, this foundation is very skin-like and so it, it has a nice kind of um, finish that's more of a maybe satin finish, if you can see. It's still a little bit, you know, glowy and skin-like, like it's definitely not a matte foundation. So if you're super oily, I don't know if you'll love this foundation, um, but certainly maybe try and get a sample and just maybe use a lot of a mattifying primer if you're really interested in checking it out. Now, there are some areas along my jawline where I have a little bit of discoloration that definitely is still peeking through and then a little bit on my jaws here. So I'm gonna go in with one more layer just to focus on those areas and then blend it in. So that was pretty much like one and a half pumps. And I definitely recommend stippling it in first because if you get to blending too quickly, it, it I, I felt it like drips on my boobs. <laughs> All right, so that is approximately two layers of foundation. I really didn't add a bunch to my forehead because I just don't like, I have some lines in my forehead that I would rather foundation not sit into. Although um, I haven't noticed that really a lot at all with this foundation, um, but the finish is really, really pretty. You know, like it, it still looks, I mean, I definitely have a ton of lights in here, but it still looks a little bit glowy. Not exactly dewy, just glowy. And I find that this flat top kabuki brush definitely blends it in very well, but you can totally go in with a, um, beauty blender to kind of even blend it in into your skin even more, but I'm pretty satisfied with the coverage and with the finish at this point. So I'm just gonna leave it here. So I'm gonna go off camera, finish the rest of my makeup. We'll talk more about the foundation and I will be right back. 
And so again, this is the Water Blend, Water Blend Foundation from Makeup Forever. And I wanted to pick it up for a few reasons. One, because I absolutely adore Makeup Forever and the Ultra HD foundation is one of my favorites. Number two, I was looking for a foundation that wasn't quite as bam in your face and quite as full coverage. I wanted something a little bit more natural, a little bit lighter of a coverage, something that I could wear more so every day to work or as I go on vacation, I wanted something that would be, you know, a little bit of coverage, have me look a little bit more pulled together, definitely not full coverage, full beat type situation, but something that traveled well. I wanted something that could work well across all climates, be it very hot or, you know, more into the fall time because as I do um, make my vacation plans and travel to Australia and New Zealand, there's gonna be definitely some difference in temperature as it'll be kind of springtime there um, and not quite as warm as um, the summer yet, but it won't be quite fall. So something that was just a little bit more versatile. That's the word I was looking for, versatile. And so I decided to give this a shot because I've heard a lot of people rave about it. And I've definitely heard tons of people rave about the original face and body foundation from Makeup Forever, which this has since um, replaced. And so I wanted to give it a try. So how about I read a few of the claims that Makeup Forever um, has listed from the Sephora website um, regarding this foundation. So what is it? It's a lightweight water gel face and body foundation that provides sheer to buildable coverage with a natural looking dewy glow and flawless finish. Um, the iconic face and body foundation is back and better than ever, formulated with 80% of water and enriched with pro vitamin B5, water blend face and body foundation, hydrates and improves your skin's elasticity. The super lightweight formula allows you to customize your foundation result from sheer to buildable and provide you with the desired coverage level with a fresh dewy glow. The long-lasting unique water gel texture applies quickly and easily then sets to ensure that it will not transfer throughout the day. Uh, ideal for all skin types, this foundation is available in a array of 20 shades to match all skin tones. Let's see. I think that is about it. So the main points of the claims, it is a sheer to buildable coverage. It is a water gel texture. It does not transfer throughout the day, ideal for all skin types, and um, provides a natural looking dewy glow and flawless finish. Well, I am here to agree with those claims. So this is, you know, kind of the final look with the foundation and the rest of my makeup in place. And I do agree um, that it does give kind of a dewy looking finish. <clears throat> now, I did not set this today, actually. Um, I typically do. I think I just forgot today, honestly. Um, but I didn't set my makeup today with like a powder after. And I have worn this for off and on three and a half, four weeks. And I definitely love the finish. It's a very natural looking finish. And I must say that when I wear this foundation, I've gotten the most compliments on my skin than I have with probably any other foundation. I will say the Makeup Forever Ultra HD, I will get those compliments as well, but I think I've gotten them way more often with the Water Blend Foundation. Definitely complimenting my skin, not my makeup. Now, I know people are being very complimentary and it's coming from a good place, but I feel there is a difference when people say, oh, your skin looks beautiful versus your makeup looks beautiful. I will take them both don't trip but i do find that that for me there is a difference in that compliment and i've gotten more compliments on my skin with this foundation than i have with most about any other ones in my collection so that is always a plus like i mentioned it is a dewy finish now it's not extra dewy it's not extra glowy but it does resemble more resemble skin than some of my other foundations. So you definitely can see, you know, well now I have on a blinding highlight on top of things, but it's not a flat matte finish by any means. Um, it definitely lasts throughout the day. Like I said, I've worn this for three and a half, four weeks off and on. And most of those days have been to work. And so with that, you know, I leave really early in the morning. I get home late at night, blah, blah, blah. You guys have heard the story, but this has lasted throughout the day. I definitely agree that it is transfer proof. When I get home, my makeup looks almost as good 
when I re returned home than it did when I left that morning. And I do not touch up throughout the day. I, I mean, I have to be going somewhere after work to touch up. So that rarely happens. <laughs> and when I get home, it is a bit more dewy, a bit more glowy, but nothing uncontrollable, nothing that I feel as though I should have touched up throughout the day. I just go, oh, I'm a little more glowy than usual. And that is perfectly okay with me. And I'm not someone who loves the dew everywhere. Um, a nice subtle dew is plenty for me. So I definitely agree with that. Um, it comes in 20 shades. I think they could bump that up a little bit because the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation comes in so many more shades that I would love to see them match the shade range to that line to this line. So Water Blend to Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I would love it to have all the shades the Ultra HD has. Um, other than that, I definitely really like this foundation. I like that it's sheer to buildable. Um, as you saw in the review, I definitely have built it up and I kind of went in with two layers to get more of a flawless finish, but I've definitely applied this with a beauty blender and just done one layer all over my face and kind of went on my way and I love that coverage as well. So I like the versatility of it that you can do a really sheer layer or you can really build it up to a flawless finish and it doesn't get cakey as you build it up. So that's a really nice aspect to this particular foundation. So as far as I can tell, this one for the win, Makeup Forever Water Blend foundation again I'm in a shade Y455 which I believe is praline on the site for reference and I absolutely love it so if you guys um we're interested in picking up this foundation. If you're looking for something in the sheer to buildable kind of range, this is definitely something to look into. I definitely get the hype and see why people love it. Um, I should mention it comes with, oh, ho, ho, ho. it comes with 1.69 fluid ounces, which is a lot. Because, you know, honestly, most foundations only come with one fluid ounce. So you are getting more for your buck with this one. So again, it comes with 1.6 ounce, six, nine fluid ounces, comes with a pump. Very, it does have a glass bottle, which makes me a little worried about travel, but I tend to pack my makeup very strategically, so I don't have to worry about it um, when I travel, so I'm not too, too concerned about that. Hopefully, I won't regret that statement later, but we'll see. Anyway, I absolutely love it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you like this video, please, please, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and if you love it, absolutely go ahead and share it with your friends. That would just make me so happy to see it, and as always, if you haven't subscribed subscribed already what in the world are you waiting for go ahead and hit that subscribe button on your way back as I always say because I really do mean it I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video bye